Hello, today we will be reviewing the top five action games currently on the App Store. And we will be going over Call of Duty Mobile, <clears throat> Marvel Contest of Champions, Brawl Stars, Genshin Impact and Vampire Survivors. So let's get right into it. And first up, we have Marvel Contest of Champions. Marvel Contest of Champions is an action game on mobile that is based on the Marvel Universe. In this game, you will, you will be able to pick from a variety of different champions or characters, such as Wolverine or Spider-Man, which all have different abilities and stats. And you will be able to select which one you pit into battle to fight against your opponents. In this game, you'll be able to either play against the AI in the story mode, where you can uncover the storyline as you defeat stronger enemies, or you can also play in the multiplayer mode, <clears throat> where you can fight against other people in real time and see who is the strongest out of both. To get champions, you may go into the crystals and you can buy crystals with in-game currency or you can wait and you can get some free crystals every now and then. Lastly, there is also a shop where you can buy items which can help you along your journey in this universe and may aid you when you're fighting. So now for the gameplay. So when you play, there is various different controls that you can use to attack your opponent. And this makes for a complex and strategy um, PvP. So, for example, you can either use light attacks by simply pressing the attack button, or you can charge attacks to be more powerful by holding the attack button. You may also dash forwards and backwards, which allow for quick mobile fights. And you also have a special ability, which each character has a different special ability which does different effects. Now let's get into the second game. And up next we have Brawl Stars. Brawl Stars is a multiplayer battle arena game in which you can play against either AI or other players. You play with different characters or brawlers which all have different abilities. They have different gadgets, as well as different star powers, which all have different effects on the brawler. There is also different skins, so that you can make the brawler more customizable and aesthetic to play with. There is a club in which you can play with club mates or participate in club quests and gain some club points, which you can then spend to gain things which will help you progress throughout the game. There is various different game modes, such as Brawl Ball, Bounty, or Solo Showdown. Now we'll get into the gameplay. Here I'm playing a game of Brawl Ball. In Brawl Ball, the objective, like football, is to get the ball in the other team's goal and to do so whilst the other team is trying to kill you in this case. So here you need to think wisely and use strategy in order to either kill all the other team and score whilst they are not revived yet, or to try and dodge enemy attacks and score quickly before they can kill you. This is a 3v3 mode, but there's other modes in which you can play 1v9, as battle royale or you can also play duos or other game modes the brawler i'm playing with right now is called mortis his gadget allows for him to quickly reload and therefore attack more and his star power shoots bats which can damage as well as heal if they hit the enemy now enjoy some gameplay
Thirdly, we have Call of Duty Mobile. Call of Duty Mobile is a game which was adapted for mobile from the original Call of Duty. In this game, you are able to fight against other players or AI by using a different loadout which features different guns which you can select as well as different support items such as grenades and different abilities such as being able to launch rockets at other people. In this game, there is various different modes, such as Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Search and Destroy, and you can either play ranked matches, normal matches, or play special matches, such as against Zombies or Battle Royale. In this game, you can also join a club and you can participate in battles with your club to try and get club points, which you will be able to buy guns with. You do this by fighting in specific modes with club mates. Now for some gameplay. Here I am playing Search and Destroy. This is a 5v5 team mode in which the objective is to either kill the rest of the team completely or if you can't kill the rest of the team then you have to try and plant or defuse a bomb which has to be in a certain site. Here, as you can see, I have my primary weapon being a rifle as well as my secondary weapon, which is a rocket launcher. I also have special abilities which haven't loaded yet, which turn me into a flamethrower, which I can use to easily kill people with, as well as my other abilities here in the bottom left, where I have things such as a drone which can reveal enemy positions as well as the ability to shoot rockets at enemies from the sky. Now enjoy some gameplay.
Uh, next up, we have Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors is a minimalistic survival game in which the player has to try and survive a horde of monsters. To do this, a player can discover and use various different items and abilities which they will then be able to uh, equip during the game. There is also different quests that you have to do in order to access these different abilities and items. You can also upgrade abilities and items with coins and you may also buy some packs with money. There is also four different characters with different starting abilities which you may play with. And now for the gameplay. In this game, you start with only the ability that the character you're playing with has. Then you run around an open field, killing monsters which spawn in gradually. As you kill monsters, they drop experience and you use this experience to, to once you've collected enough, you level up. By leveling up, you are able to unlock a new skill or ability which will help you defeat the monsters. And over time, the monsters get exponentially stronger and quicker and they can attack you in different ways. For example, hordes may rush at you instantly. And so this makes it harder to survive for longer, even though the more you survive, the more levels you will get and therefore the more abilities you will have. Last but not least, we have Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is an action role-playing game which was developed by MiHoYo. It features an open world environment which means that the player is able to freely roam around the land and can explore and adventure all that they want. This allows for the game to be played in various different ways and despite this being an action game, this game could be played peacefully and the player doesn't have to engage in any actual battles. Across the world that the player can explore, there is many different things such as monsters, villages, NPCs, bosses, and this allows for very interesting interactions. The player roams the world with their party of characters, which they can select and the characters all have different abilities and weapons, which you can also improve. The player will be able to swim, climb and run around all around the world to make it more realistic. You can also complete quests in this game, which help you unlock different characters as well as different things to help you progress quicker and they are also able to spell spend 
money on the game in order to progress much quicker.